Hello guys, welcome back to more learning tutorial of creating e-commerce application in Android using Kotlin. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for all the support. Let's get started. So in the last video, we left the screen over here in the splash activity. We created a splash activity now. And in today's video, we are going to create sign up and sign in activity. So removing this with linear layout and we are going to set this orientation as vertical and let's say going, I, I, ha, I am going to divide this screen into equal parts one part uh, from on the upper part I have the logo of our application and in the bottom we are going to give user uh, basically to enter his mobile number and continue with the same so for that let's say I am giving this as width sum width sum to now on the bottom part we have a relative layout which will uh, having the width of match parent and height will be 0 and let's say weight of layout weight will be 1 so as you can see it covers the half of the screen now we, we are going to create one more relative layout for the same here so a whole of our screen is now covered now we are going to introduce our logo in this image view wrap content wrap content src will be foreground and this will be center of parent so its parent is the upper part of this layout so it's get in center automatically now here here we are going to you know give an edit text for entering the phone number and uh, there will be a button of next and then we are going to give user an option of skipping this thing as well so first of all take a uh, library sdp library it is basically used for uh, different type of screens it automatically uh, captures the screen size and or uh, depending on that size it uh, maintains the uh, size and width of your whatever uh, text or uh, icon is there so i'll give the link in this description i just have to copy this and go to your android gradle at app level gradle just put this over here and sync your project so our project has been synced now go back to your sign in activity and uh, first of all i'm going to use the text view for skipping most of the e-commerce application it don't uh, force users to actually sign in or sign up it uh, allows user to randomly go and search whatever he wants so we are going to do that skip sign in and let's say text color will be align parent bottom to align parent right to stack the string of this let's uh, give some padding put text size as say 15 sdp give it some id let's go back and create an edit text for entering number put the hint stack the string give it some id now we have phone number just give it some margin from left to right and below that we are going to give the button for uh, saying next as a button text all caps will be false button text will be next let's say give it a background of our color ascent and give it text color as well and word color white and give it a id now we want this in the center of horizontal so make it true now we want this in the below of the phone number layout below of id phone number now we want this some space between our edit text and button so margin top let's say we are going to say 4 hdb and give it some margin top as well 10 hdb we are good with everything one more thing we are going to say that input type will be only number here because we are going to get 
phone number and this will be of only 10 digits so max ems will be 10 done with everything of as a layout so let's get back to our activity if user has chosen that skip or sign in and sign up so we will never going to show him the sign in or sign up uh, screen the user going to manually uh, enter once he is going to order so we will call that cover that part later but for now we are going to store the thing that what user has chosen if user had signed in we are going to specifically store that in the our look shared preference so just get that shared pref and uh, mode will be private okay so we have shared preference over here now what we want like if user clicked on skip sign in we just going to redirect him over our home screen so let's say we are going to create a function for that redirect to home so let's say I'm going to let intent equals to intent this that our home activity is main activity start our activity and we don't want user to get back on this by pressing back so we are just finishing this activity so we are done with a redirect now what we need is here on the skip sign in we are just going to set that in our shared preference so in this screen we are going to actually use the shared preference editor because we are going to insert a <coughs> lot of data in there in this screen we are going to store we will need the shared editor okay so we have here now let's say on skip and sign in we are going to store the data start option skip now we'll share dot commit here it is showing that uh, consider using apply instead commit write share editor dot apply as well after that we will redirect our user to home this thing, same thing we also have to use on the splash screen if we got that start option as skip then we will uh, redirect to home so go back to your splash activity and after running this specific timer of 5 seconds just check that set dot contains go over there and put this start option if it contains start options and uh, some default value as well so let's say i'm going to set the default value as blank string our main activity so this is this with that we don't need to do anything else okay so let's get back to our sign in and sign up activity here we have created the skip option now sign up so we are basically given a simple edit text in which user is if user is already uh, registered with us with us we will check that uh, number in our database if any user is entering 10 digit number we will just simply let him go to our main home screen and we will set save his data of his number as a current user next dot set on click listener now we are going to check if number dot text dot to string has not length of 10 and we will return to save that in our asset preference so we will say dot put string current user phone number So we haven't uh, removed the white spaces so we can also consider that as well. One more thing is like if user enters 
some data we are going to you know get the OTP as well create OTP option as well create an OTP layout OTP layout will have a text and text will be OTP verification right and give this space some margin 20 HTTP margin we are going to make this as a heading so and which user is going to enter his OTP that he received String match pair and uh, we are just going to set the description as well for our uh, content that what you are going what you need to enter over here now in the bottom of this if we if you are saying that his number was incorrect and he wants to change his number we are just going to give him an option of that text color will be so give it some id as change number a button that will be wrap content Text will be submit text all caps false background will be this and now just put the layout gravity as with some ID so we are done with creating the layout for uh, OTP here app activity and put this layout over here include so I guess we have created this but we are saying that when it is visibility is gone it will be visible only when uh, this section is not visible so let's say we are going to say this as id phone number screen In this we are going to set the id as otp otp screen go back to your sign in and sign up activity so whenever user is clicking on next we are, we use to you know show the otp screen and when so for that let's say create a function of show otp screen and create a function of show phone number screen okay so in this in the phone number screen we are going to say that phone number screen dot visibility equals to view dot visible otp screen visibility will be gone and just oppose it to this in the this one this will be gone and this will be visible so by default whenever you you are going on this screen we are going to say that uh, show phone number screen okay but when user is clicking on the next that is basically phone number of ne next of phone number <coughs> we are going to basically show him the OTP screen OTP screen. Now we are showing the OTP screen to that user, but we are don't want to redirect him yet. So we just do this operation on OTP screen. Sorry, submit OTP dot set on click listener. We are going to use this thing that now. Now we will verify that if OTP is correct, we are going to redirect him in that way so for now i'm say we don't have any api for that so i'm assuming the otp the default otp will be right if we caught this otp then we are going to 
after otherwise we are going to say that so on submit we are going to um, use this screen like this and if someone enters wrong phone number so, so on change number we are going to say and set on click listener so phone number screen uh, and basically OTP layout we haven't set the input type of this so we will only going to set input type will be number and maximum input will be your four digit so we have set everything so let's just run this so we have the loading screen over here it redirects us to login and let's say if we are if i'm going to say skip sign in it will redirect us to skip sign in and uh, for now let's use this skip sign in option i'm clicking on this and it redirect us to the home now just uh, close your app and try to restart it again and see if it is uh, asking us again for like give your number and all it should directly redirect us to home screen after the splash screen right your application again and it will show us the splash screen after that it should show uh, the home page yeah so as you can see because we have chosen the option of skipping that thing right clear storage right i'm going to clear all the app data now and run this again now we are going to enter the number so as you can see if i entered more than 10 digit 10 digit and then click on next now you can see it is so it take it took us to the otp verification and here we will get get the otp now now say it is showing incorrect number if i click on that it is redirect us back to the phone number part if we click on next it is redirecting us to that otp verification right so if we enter okay so i just entered the text so we need to clear with these things let's say i'm just entering one two three four and clicking submit after that it is saying that incorrect otp right so in place of that when i'm going to click this and say submit let it redirect us to home we need to give some margin from left to right let's say we are also going to set the maximum length will be 10 so we have this let's say i am going to enter now it won't allow us to enter anymore so that's what we want to see now next click on next and now we have some space around here so that's it for today guys hope you have liked this video and if you are new to this channel just subscribe this and press the notification